Hello, hello, Pisces. Intuitive Soul Coach here with your July full moon reading. So the full moon does happen to land on around July 23rd, depending on your location. So today we'll be taking a look at what you'll be celebrating during this full moon cycle, what your untapped spiritual gifts and greatest strengths are, a specific message from spirit directly to the collective energy of Pisces. We'll take a look at how you've grown during this moon cycle and action steps that you can take to continue moving forward on your soul's path. If you are interested, Pisces, in signing up for a free reading or even a personal reading, you can find both of those links in the description box below. So we're going to dive right in here on what you will be celebrating during this new, excuse me, this full moon cycle. We have the Empress energy, beautiful energy to be celebrating here. This is all about for fertility, life. Uh, it's Mother Earth here. Time to act upon your plans. Creativity is rewarded. Luxurious or abundant resources. So the Empress is all about abundance here. She's full of self-love. She's on top of her game. She knows she's worthy. She's confident. She's also that maternal protection. She loves nature as well. As you can see, she's surrounded by all the beautiful nature animals here, and she's very, very loved. And all of these animals look up to her and support her because she takes care of all of them. She is the ultimate Mother Earth here, Mother God, the maternal motherhood of the world here. So I feel like what you are celebrating is not only taking care of everybody else in your circle here, but taking care of yourself as well. This is all of the queens wrapped up in one. She's definitely on top of her game and full of self-worth. So I feel like you will be celebrating taking care of yourself at this time as well. So let's clarify this energy for you. Spirit, can you please clarify the Empress energy for my beautiful Pisces regarding what it is they're celebrating here? All right. We have the Six of Cups showing up here. Six of Cups. So let me just see here. I feel like the Six of Cups was showing up here in reverse. Nope. All right. Six of Cups in the upright position. Uh, this could be a return from the past. It could be reconnecting to somebody from the past or even having those sweet childhood memories or yearning for the good old days. But what I'm really getting from this is a second chance. There's something coming in here that you're celebrating that you maybe gave a second chance to. This could be even a second chance to your own self, especially uh, if you had to raise your way up into this Empress energy here. So let's clarify. What is this blast from the past coming in here that my beautiful Pisces is celebrating? A brand new beginning. Yeah. So I feel like there's some, it could be somebody from the past or it could be somebody uh, that you have made and shared a lot of memories with here with the Six of Cups. It could just say that you've overcome any issues from the past as well, and you're moving forward because what I have here is the Magician, and the Magician is all about manifesting, manifesting a new beginning, really taking action, and that's what the Empress does here is takes action. I feel uh, for a lot of you, there's a lot of past experiences that have been coming up that you've been working on and healing from. And that's what we're celebrating here is you working on any issues from the past and moving forward in a new direction, whether that is a new energy, whether that's a whole new beginning with somebody else uh, or somebody from the past here. But we have the magician showing up and it's saying that you're manifesting the life that you want at this time. You know why? Because you're releasing all of these heavy burdens that you carry. The Ten of Wands shows up in reverse and it says that you, uh, you're freeing yourself up for things that are actually very important to you. And yes, you are the mother of all here, the one that takes care of everything. Um, but she's very abundant and she gives life to, to situations here and she's able to manifest. But one of the biggest things I feel like you're celebrating again during this moon cycle is not only abundance, Pisces, but it's about releasing any heavy burdens or anything that's tied you down, especially if it does have to do with the past. 
If there's a situation, a person, an event that maybe happened in your recent past or even a long time ago, you're releasing that and you're moving forward with this new magician energy. So I feel like that is where this empress is coming from and you're feeling on top of your game because maybe this is something you tried to release for a while. Maybe it's a way of thinking. Maybe it is a pattern or a habit. It could be a person or a situation here. So take it as it resonates. Now let's take a look at your untapped spiritual gifts and greatest strengths during this cycle here. What are your untapped spiritual gifts and greatest strengths? I mean, the, the emperor empress energy has a lot of them. I, I, I will uh, say that. Um, and hers is, is giving, caregiving as well. We have the king of Gabrielle here, king of wands energy. So what the king of wands is saying here is this person, again, is very generous very inspirational, very dramatic, and very driven towards what it is that they want. It says, keep your eyes on the big picture. Leave the details to others. Experiences that lead to success. Genuine concern for others. And as I was just saying, with the Empress energy, uh, again, she's very genuine, but she's also very generous as well. And even though this is the king of Gabrielle, it doesn't matter if you're female or male here, but the king energy is very entrepreneurial. Uh, maybe even a business owner, a very high up on the totem pole, somebody who's very passionate about life, passionate about their relationships, somebody who's very uh, successful as well, very warm, very adventurous, could even be some sort of a motivational speaker or somebody whose life is very inspirational to others at this time. So I'm feeling like your greatest strength is your generosity here, Pisces, is your compassion. Um, but what this is saying is, don't focus on every single fine detail. Let yourself see the bigger picture and enjoy life a little bit more because sometimes when we focus on all of those small details, we miss the bigger, more enjoyable moments. But I feel like that's what you're celebrating is enjoying all of those moments and seeing everything around her instead of just, you know, a tiny little you can see the deer here and you can see the squirrel. Instead of just focusing on one, you're focusing on a lot. And that is what your strength is, what your greatest uh, gift is. So let's clarify this King of Gabrielle. And the King of Gabrielle, when it comes to career as well, uh, very, very successful because they built their way up. And I feel like whatever it is that you're doing here, you feel very passionate about, you like a lot, and you've grown a lot in the situation. Okay, how would you like these? So we do have um, a tower moment in reverse showing up. So I like to see towers in reverse because what that means is there is some sort of revelation that offers you freedom, some sort of release. It's kind of like a go with the flow. And that's what I feel like your strength is. Despite tower moments in the past that may have showed up here, what this is showing up as, as your greatest strength is you can overcome any of these tower moments and you can come out on top. You can come out stronger from this situation, a stronger version of yourself, a stronger uh, paternal or maternal uh, environment here and personality trait is kind of what I'm picking up on. But the tower is you can offer yourself freedom from any of these situations here because right behind that we have the page of wands showing up here. So the page of wands as your strength is you bring inspiration. You help people build themselves up. You can help lift people and get something off the ground. What I feel for you is you are the bearer of good news. Okay, so as far as your greatest gift, your greatest strength, you really are inspirational to people. And a lot of people look up to you here, Pisces. So beautiful energy. I'm loving this for you. Let's take a look at a message directly from Spirit. What do you have, Spirit, Universe, Guides, for my beautiful Pisces during this new moon to full moon cycle? New moon, July 9th, flowing into July 23rd. What is it that you, uh, message that you have for them during that time? All right, Page of Michael. This is the Page of Swords energy. It says, uh, truthful, percept perceptive, analytical, and blunt. Okay. I feel like this is somebody else's energy coming in, and it could even be you. No, Spirit's saying it's somebody else's here. Uh, but I feel like an exciting new challenge. You have what it takes to succeed. Review contracts or documents very thoroughly, okay? So it might sound a little bit counterintuitive, as it says here, to keep the eye on the big picture and leave the details to others. 
But I feel that's not what this card is saying. It's not saying ignore the, the contract, ignore the documents. It's saying the little things that don't serve a purpose, release and let go. If somebody else can, for example, if somebody else can mow the lawn, if you have a big task that needs to be done, maybe hire somebody or pay somebody to do it for you if it's minor or minuscule and you have something more important to focus on. Now, what this card is saying here is pay attention to any documents, legal contracts, uh, or anything that comes into your energy field during this new moon, uh, full moon cycle. And I almost want to say even past the full moon. So we have the full moon July 23rd. I almost want to say like July 26th to 28th, there's going to be some sort of contract possibly. So just pay attention here to anything that you need to double check. Um, but the page of Michael, page of swords, usually brings in some sort of news uh, because they're curious about something. It's learning something new about a situation, maybe, maybe digging for the truth in a situation here. Uh, but I feel like it's a verbal message. It could be some sort of a phone conversation or it could be face to face here. But I feel like there's something that's going to come up that you're really going to have to fine tooth. Uh, whatever this is for you. And I feel like that's what spirit is saying for you. It's just saying, pay attention um, to any documents or any details that really need to be combed through at this time. Okay. Oh, the, yeah, there it is. So we have the king of swords showing up and that's exactly what I'm talking about here regarding truth. So you could be working with some sort of legalities or you could be working with somebody who's very, who wants the truth of a situation. Uh, the King of Swords shows up and he's very intelligent. He rules uh, the law here. He's all about truth and proof. He's very logical, but very routine as well. And um, he has the knowledge regarding situations here. And right behind him, we have the Three of Swords in reverse. And I feel like there was some healing that needed to take place here. But somebody, I feel like somebody, and I don't really feel like this is your energy, but I feel like somebody needs to heal from a situation here and move forward, especially if there was a tower moment, something that you had to heal from, excuse me here, uh, with the Three of Swords energy, uh, because the Three of Swords is definitely the card of some sort of loss, okay? So uh, rejection, again, is God's pr protection, but I feel like the reason why this is showing up in reverse here is because I feel like truth will set you free in this situation. So whatever that means to you, um, but the page of Michael is coming in to kind of bring news of balancing up a situation. They actually, um, I want to pull one more card here. Spirit is saying, pull another card for this three of swords. So spirit, can you please tell me about this three of swords energy showing up in reverse? Uh, I feel like there's maybe somebody even trying to avoid a prop, a problem. There's a little bit of forgiveness needed as well as what I'm hearing. And it could be some sort of bad news. It could be a divorce. You know, it could be something with legalities as what I'm getting to. Um, but the three of swords is somebody needing to, you know, face the situation, face the problem. There needs to be a, a reconciliation here. Okay. Uh, the three of cups typically is the card of celebration. Uh, but what I'm feeling here is somebody feels a little bit left out. Could be third party energy as well because it does show up in reverse. Uh, but take it as it resonates for you. There needs to be truth and balance into a situation that maybe was a little bit heartbreaking that somebody needs to forgive or reconcile in this situation. Or maybe it's just forgiving yourself and moving on, moving away here. Because this is somebody finding out about something here or delivering news um, about something that needs to be truth in a situation. Somebody needs to be blunt in the situation here. All right. Let's take a look and see how you have grown during this situation. How have, has my beautiful Pisceans grown during this energy moon cycle? All right, the world. Wow. Okay. Yep. So we have the world showing up here. This is a completion. This is some cycle coming to an end. You're coming close to wrapping up something, whether it's a course, a job, a relationship, a court battle. There's something that you are shutting down here. It says a very happy ending coming full cycle, spiritual growth and insight. So you've grown a lot during the cycle by knowing when to shut something down and when to move forward. So you have two major arcana showing up out of four here the empress energy which is bringing uh bringing love into the world birthing creativity life and then we have you shutting down 
whatever doesn't work because you as the empress here, Pisces, you have the power to shut down what doesn't work in your life here. And I feel like there's definitely something that is coming full circle or something coming to an end for you. Let's clarify, Spirit. Can you please clarify the world card showing up for my beautiful Pisces? What is it that they're shutting down? What is this uh, this lesson? Okay, you both of these. Holy. All right. Do you want one more with that? Okay. Something that was quite difficult for you. You don't want them. Okay. You just want these two for now? Thank you. So something that uh, Five of Pentacles is filled with a little bit of anxiety, uh, a little bit of, it could be financial or health difficulties. There's some sort of sense of a lack, lack or again, feeling left out in the cold here. Could have to do with financial and material changes, maybe some sort of a job loss or an illness here. Um, but I'm feeling you're, this is being shut down, whatever this has to do with, uh, because the two of swords, uh, the blindfold, you're taking off the blindfold and seeing something for what it is. It's you, Pisces, feeling like a difficult decision needs to be made. And you're feeling like you're between a rock and a hard place here, but that's where your Empress energy shines. And that's what you're celebrating because you're stepping up into this role. And spirit is saying that you have everything it takes uh, to manifest because you have both, you have a lot of court cards out here. So I feel not only do you have court cards out here, but you do have uh, the Empress as your main energy showing up. So I feel like you're dealing with a lot of people at this time here. A lot of people indeed. Um, I do want to get to, I want to get another card to clarify these two regarding shutting something down here. So I feel like, okay. What I am seeing here, and it's interesting because as I've seen it, I feel like somebody has the key. Uh, maybe somebody just returned a key to somebody else. Maybe somebody has the key to get in someplace because on the five of pentacles, you can see that there is a key in this picture as well, but I'm seeing a physical key uh, in somebody's energy field. So take that as it resonates here. Maybe it's symbolic for you have the key to the situation here. You have the key to shut it down um, or you have a physical key in your hand that's not yours, but it's to something is what I am seeing here. We have the Knight of Wands showing up. So another wand. The Knight of Wands shows up in reverse. So what I'll say about that is somebody is feeling a little bit cocky in a situation, maybe rushing rushing in. Uh, this could be somebody immature, a lot of energy. It could be somebody that's been in and out of a situation here. Or maybe, you know, usually the Knight of Wands is that player energy. Uh, but I'm feeling like you're shutting down whoever this cocky person is here. You're shutting that down. Whoever uh, maybe maybe used you for your money here in this situation uh, with the pentacles, five of pentacles that, you know, could be financial loss as well. Uh, but you're seeing things clearly and you're shutting it down. So I feel like that's how you've grown during the cycle. Um, so kudos to you for knowing when to walk away from a situation and when to stick around. So Pisces, let's take a look. What steps can you take to continue growing as an individual, as a person? Oh, Ace of Raphael, Ace of Raphael. A positive new emotional experience, fulfilling romantic relationships, deep and lasting spiritual insights. So I will tell you, it does not have to be a romantic situation, but the Ace of Cups is some sort of new love opportunity. It's feeling abundant and emotionally satisfied, and it's about you being ready to open up your heart in a situation. So how you can continue growing is to step into this Empress energy as you are and show the world compassion. Even when you're shutting down something here, show compassion and uh, allow people to not walk all over you here, but allow new fresh starts with your own emotions is what I'm hearing here. So let's Let's clarify this energy for you. Spirit, can you please tell me what is this emotional uh, beginning that my beautiful Pisces can take to continue growing on their path? I feel like um, what the message here is saying is continue to open, keep your heart open. Don't shut down your heart, especially if you have people that are like the page of swords or, you know, the the knight of wands showing up in reverse. If you have people like that in your 
in your energy, it's certainly okay to love them or keep them at a, a distance here and being able to make sure that you're not being stepped on and no one to shut something down. Yeah, seven of pentacles showing up here. So the seven of pentacles is, you know, putting in the hard work. It's saying don't quit here, Pisces. You're almost there. So the message of how you can continue to move on and move forward on your path is don't give up before something is finished here. Uh, don't lose faith in whatever situation is coming your way because I feel like you've been putting a lot of hard work into something that you feel very emotional towards. So whatever this is here, there is accomplishment, there is achievement. Just keep going on that direction, on that path here. So let's take a look at physical action steps that you can take to continue growing on your path moving forward. Let's take a look at these physical action steps, Spirit, that you have for Pisces moving forward. Oh, all right. Okay, we, oh, three of them here. We have past life issue. It says this situation has a basis in one of your previous lifetimes. Ask your angels to help you remember, release, learn, and heal from your past experiences. So past life issue. We have emotional sensitivity. Honor and respect your deep sensitivity as it is a gift to us all. And I'm kind of getting the same vibes as this empress here. She's very emotional. She's that feminine side here, that, that beautiful energy of pure love and compassion. So emotional sensitivity, honor it, Pisces, because it's something that is a gift to many. And then we have parents, parents showing up. The divine truth is that your parents eternally love you to the best of their ability. The angels are helping you heal from any pain associated with your mother or father. So parents, so past life, emotional sensitivity, and uh, parents as well. Pisces, I hope this helps you on your journey moving forward. I am grateful for each and every one of you. Please leave in the comments if you feel like it, your story. It helps me connect to your energy, and I love reading each and every one of them as well. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. It certainly helps me and uh, grows my channel, so I am able to continue doing this for you, and I absolutely love doing it for you as well. So Pisces, sending you a lot of love and light. Until next time.